Joining us, I'm Mike Seeley. And I'm Dawn Baker. Thousands of Americans are trapped in the Sudan. This comes as two of the country's rival generals battle for power. President Joe Biden ordered evacuations over the weekend for U.S. embassy workers in Sudan, but 16,000 Americans remain over there. The Biden administration says most are dual citizens who don't want to leave. Those that do are being told it's too dangerous right now. New at six, we're learning two of those Americans are from the low country in South Carolina. WTOC's Tyler Banyan talked to an elected leader from Bluffton about the situation. He joins us now live in the studio. Tyler. Mike, Don, the mayor of Bluffton says these two low country residents are from her town. For their safety, while they remain in Sudan, we're avoiding any details about their identities. But what we can tell you is they've got loads of love coming from right here at home. If you get this, just know you've got all of Bluffton that is here, and all of the state that's going to support and try to get you and your, your other friends out. The couple has told those close to them that explosions have gotten louder in recent days as they look for ways out of the country. The leader of their town back home giving an insight into why they're there in the first place. So this couple from Bluffton, uh, traveled to Sudan for humanitarian purposes. Um, they're close family friends. They both have had an influence in my children's lives. They've had an influence in a lot of people's lives in Bluffton, and um, we need to help them. She says the best way to do that is reaching out to national leaders, like Congresswoman Nancy Mace, who we reached out to today. In a statement to WTOC, Mace says the State Department is in contact with the Bluffton residents in Sudan. Going on to say, our office is keeping a close eye on the situation and we remain ready to assist any South Carolinians in any way we can. The last update we have from the couple is that they're safe, but now without Wi-Fi and are conserving data, likely meaning less communication to their support system back here. The hope from so many that they can find a way out safely with or without the help of the federal government.